Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the first unboxing of 2022 here at Pure Arts. And I am super pumped about today's unboxing and review because it is of an icon. You know, I'm an 80s kid, I'm a little old. And when I was a kid in the 80s, everybody had uh, a Michael Jackson t-shirt. Everybody was trying to break dance. Everybody had a ghetto blaster. It was the rage. And so here we are, you know, 30 years later or 40 years later almost. And today we're gonna to be talking about uh, an amazing Michael Jackson statue. So today we're unboxing the Smooth Criminal one third scale Michael Jackson statue. So tune in and let's unbox this thing. So Michael Jackson Smooth Criminal statue comes in two different recipes. You have the deluxe edition, which needs actually two boxes because one is Michael Jackson, the statue, and then the matching jukebox. And then the other edition is the standard edition, which does not include the jukebox. So it just comes in one box, all right? So today we're opening the deluxe. So let's start off with the statue. We'll do the jukebox after, okay? So let's put the jukebox aside. So while we unbox it, um, a couple things to talk about. Uh, one, this statue is very unique to the Pure Arts lineup because of a few factors that we were just talking about actually, and that is um, it's one of the first statues that we do that has real hair. Well, synthetic real hair, if that makes sense. Um, it's also uh, one third scale. So it's actually bigger than our typical statues uh, that are you know, usually a quarter scale. So shipping box comes with a full foam liner. So the retail box inside doesn't actually touch the shipping box. It's got foam on every single side to protect it because the retail box is beautiful. Here is the box. I love the box. It's very simple, but a beautiful cardboard, thick cardboard box with this nice kind of metallic finish on the logo. So check this out. Um, we're gonna take it off. So first of all, it's all plastic wrapped. Also something you don't see in any of our uh, other items. This has all been cellophane. All right, let's get this out of here. All right, here is the box, guys. There. I mean, the box is just beautiful. Like I said, very simple but beautiful. Uh, and everything's got a, this really nice texture to it. It almost looks like, like a canvas finish in terms of it's like this, just this really faint texture. And you also have it on, I guess this is a screen print on the box and you can see with the metallic finish in the light, it should be kind of doing this nice shimmer. It's beautiful. All the printing on the box has that. So the purearts.com uh, on the side here and then you've got the logos here. Um, let me see, does this also have it? No, this is just blue. So you just have it on the big giant logo that's here. I mean, it's just really, really beautiful premium box. It just, you can tell it's expensive. <laughs> and then we'll just lift this lid off. There we go. So when you lift the lid off, it's like, it's, you know, the air pressure really keeps it tight. So just grab underneath and kind of just pull it outwards a little bit and it just boop, comes off way easier. You also have the MJ logo here, again, in that same beautiful finish. All right, and you can see it actually has the same foam, that black premium foam uh, that we used for our Stormtrooper statue. So really, really nice. There we go. Um, you can see in the first section here, You've got a couple of goodies, we're gonna take them out. And guys, by the way, this is the, one of the first production units. So this is from the very first batch of production units that are being completed. So let's take this stuff out. First thing is the beautiful COA. Look at this thing. Uh, so it's metal and it has a gold finish to it. It's got the mirror polished mirror on the back and it has the satin finish um, and the logo, the writing, everything else is in that same kind of mirrored finish. Um, this is number 15 of 800. So the deluxe edition, which comes with the jukebox, there's 800 in the edition size, and the regular edition is 1600 units. And another big difference between the COAs is that this one's gold, and on the standard edition, it's silver, okay? You also get some 1930s cash, some, what is he, 50s? You got some 50s, you got any hundies, 20s? Anyway, you got some 1930s replica cash. And if you ordered uh, this beautiful uh, deluxe edition from 
purearts.com, you also get the little replica. So this is the Smooth Criminal Single Replica LP. And what's cool is it even comes with a little replica dust jacket and you've got the vinyl replica record inside. And then we have the nameplate. This is what connects to the base. It's just magnetic, it pops into the base. Again, with a mirrored finish. And then we have the mic. So very important, we've got the mic stand right there. That's heavy, nice. And then we have the metal base. That just goes on like so. There we go. And the extension. So the extension just fits in. What's cool about this, it's got just enough pressure to make it adjustable. So you can adjust the height of the mic. And then we actually have the mic with the cord. Now be careful when you pull this out of the box, don't yank it out by the mic because there is the mic cord. So start pulling it out and then make sure you get hold of the wire and pull it out by the wire. You don't want to yank it out from the base. And we'll just undo the twisty. And then this just can, the rod here just connects into a hole in the base of the mic. Like so. There we go, done. And the mic cord, you can just wrap it around a couple times, whatever you want. There we go, put that aside. So this is real metal, this is real metal. This, I'm not sure what this is. It feels like aluminum. It feels like an aluminum base and this will be plastic. Yeah, exactly. Cool, all right. Now let's get the top layer off. And then we have the star of the show. There you go, there's Michael inside there, check that out. I can already tell that the outfit is amazing. All right, let's get him out. As usual, we'll start with the base. Uh, a couple little details on the base. Um, the first thing you'll notice, so when I first opened this, I was a little, I was wondering what happened here because it's kind of like two peg holes side by side as though they started making one, made a mistake and drilled the second one. Um, that's actually on purpose. It's because the peg that's on the foot actually has the main peg, which goes all the way up into the body. So the statue won't lean over time. Well, lean more than he's doing the lean. And then there's a second little peg that goes in the back. So it just really helps secure it, but it also allows the statue to move around on the base. So you can choose at what angle you want him to stand on the base. And then uh, on the other side, you've got the MJ logo, Smooth Criminal, and the edition size, so 15 of 800, and it actually says deluxe edition right there. Um, and another thing that's unique, by the way, about this statue is there's a few things that make this different from the resin statues that we normally do. Um, one is the fact that this is one third scale. So this is bigger than our Animus statues and our other lines that are all quarter scale. So that's one big difference. Another one is that, as far as I know, this is the first one we've ever done with real hair. So that's a big, huge difference. And the other one is uh, the clothing on this. So we've done articles of clothing and, and material on other statues. Um, and we have you know, the figures that are coming out, the, the articulated figure line, but nothing is more intense as the suit that's on this Michael Jackson. It is all hand tailored. It's a full suit with suspenders. It's literally just a miniature one third version of a full suit. Um, and it's, it's been pressed, ironed. Like it's, it's the real deal. It's amazing. So let's get the body out. And then a couple of notes about the body, okay? Uh, first of all, there's gonna be a cork that comes out. So that's what's on the peg of the foot. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the peg rest in the bottom. We're gonna take the bag off them. There we go, wow, this looks amazing. Um, so on the body, the arms are magnetic, okay? So you can actually feel they're, they're a little loose, like it's moving, but don't worry, that's normal. It's because they're magnetically connected into the shoulder sockets. It's just, it's shipped with them already connected. And the feet also come out. If you just give it a little tug, you'll see it comes out. You can actually see the full rod that's in here. So that goes into the, into the socket there. And this one comes out as well, same deal. So let's go ahead and fit them on the base. And then we'll start putting him together. There we go. Make sure this is all connected. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the feet are all the way in. There we go. Same thing here, good, he's good. He's got the classic blue socks. Okay, we'll take out the rest of the pieces and then we'll start getting them together. So next up is the head. There's the head. The eyes are 
Super impressed. The eyes don't, don't even, they don't look painted. They look like they're glass eyes. Really, really cool. I love the, the velvet hat. This fedora comes off. They're very cool. Wow. Amazingly lifelike. The eyelashes are super impressive. He's got his lower lips sticking out in that super aggressive pose that he does when he hits like a dance move and he's like, Ur! that's really, really cool. All right, let's put him down here. Very nice. And then we have the hands. So the hands are also just in a cutout in the foam and the hands connect magnetically. We'll put the hands aside. There we go, hands. And I believe that's it. That's it for this guy. Now there's sort of a detailed way you need to assemble the statue. So I'm gonna show you guys how that's done. So I'm gonna invite Mr. Cameraman, come and join me over here uh, with a close up and we'll uh, go ahead and put this back together. Okay, so there are plastic protectors inside that keep the shape of the jacket, the shirt, and all that stuff. So we need to take all of that out of there. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the jacket and just lower down the jacket. And we're gonna take out this clip right here. So that comes out. Then we're gonna go ahead and pop the collar. All right, pop the collar, guys. There we go. And we're gonna just undo the Velcro on the back and take the tie off, okay? So tie comes off. And then we've got a little clip, a little snap right here. And that'll just pop open like so. As you can see the snap is open, okay? And then we're just gonna peel open the jacket, uh, the shirt. We're gonna go ahead and take out this plastic insert right here, take that out. And there's also one in the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the suspenders, take the suspenders off, and then right here, there'll be another plastic right here like this. Just be careful, you don't wanna tear the shirt. Take that out and there you go. All right, so next up, we're gonna put the head in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take the head and put it in like so. There we go. And then we're gonna just do the reverse. We're gonna put them back together. So first up, we're gonna go ahead and snap his shirt back up. And then we're gonna go ahead and line up the Velcro and push it back together. You can overlap it a little bit so you don't see that line of Velcro. So you get to the bottom and we're gonna tuck it back into the pants. Okay, and then put the suspenders back up. Then we're gonna pop, make sure that collar's popped. We're gonna need to repop it back up here because we're gonna put the tie on. Okay, there we go, collar's up. And then you've got two pieces of Velcro on the tie. So it's basically gonna just do this. What I do is instead of trying to tie it in the back, I'll try and do it off to the side a little bit. That way I don't get his ponytail all stuck in there. All right, and once you got the tie in place and Velcroed, go ahead and just put the back of the collar down and go ahead and slowly work it. And then you can just sort of straighten the shirt out as needed. There we go. There. Beauty. All right. And then once that's done, you got it the way you want, go ahead and put his jacket in place. And you're all set. There we go. All right, let's get the rest of his hands in. All right, guys, next up is getting the hands on here. And again, they're magnetic, and the easiest way to do it is to roll up the jacket sleeve and then push up the shirt sleeve until you expose the section, the wrist, where it connects. Should get the right hand here. There we go. And then just bring the jacket back down. There we go, perfect. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side. So again, lift up the jacket, lift up the shirt until you get the little black wrist section coming out. And pop that on, pop that back down. I like to tuck a little bit of his cuffs inside the jacket, but still let leave the, the cufflinks out so you can see the cufflinks. All right, guys, we are good to go. All right, we've got them all assembled. Let's put them on the display base so I can show you just how stunning this, this piece is. The clothing is just mind-blowing. Okay, guys, just to break down a little bit of you know, what I'm seeing when I look at this, the details are incredible. So, you know, one of the biggest errors I see on replica clothing is that while the clothing is smaller, the stitch lines, the seam lines, the buttons, zippers, things like that, are smaller but not scaled properly. They still look weird. The amount of detail, research, and sourcing of the right materials and items for this 
really, really shows because the buttons are extra small. Like they actually look properly scaled. All the stitching is like microscopic. I can't even imagine the patience needed to, to sew this suit. Um, I mean, it is really just unbelievably done. So I mean, starting right at the bottom, you've got the shoes, which are actually made of resin. Um, you've got the spats, so you've got, you know, the, 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 the coverings that are on here with the little buttons on them and stuff. And I mean, they actually have little tiny clips. So we'll zoom in, but there's actually little tiny clips on these. So you can actually pop the spats off and remove them like you would a real pair. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, You've got the iconic armband that he always wore on his jackets. Even the taping on his fingers, there's little edges that are sculpted into the figures where it looks like the torn edge of the taping. It's just like, <laughs> it's just insanely detailed. He's got his blue pocket square that matches. The shirt is like this beautiful satin with the, with the embedded little gemstones that are in the cufflinks that look, you know, just amazingly realistic. Uh, I just, Wow, um, the detail on, on, on this is, is just crazy. You know, the tie is actually tied. It's tied, it's a tapered tie, it's ironed on. It's just, it's stunning. It's really, really stunning, guys. I mean, wow. Uh, and you've got the suspenders, the real suspenders. And let me just check something. The suspenders are actually made out of an elastic material. So they are like real suspenders. They, they, they stretch, they're elastic. Absolutely unbelievable. And then the head looks fantastic. The likeness, in my opinion, is bang on. You know, it's always hard um, to photograph likenesses on statues because of the way lighting can be. And so when you look at an eye socket of a human being, you know, your eye socket is actually yay deep, but on a statue, it's a millimeter deep. So the light and the shadows don't work the same way. So that's why it's really tough to judge a likeness from photos. But when I see this in person, um, I, I mean, it's just super, super impressive. The eyes are amazing. I love the eye work. Really, really, really good. And the hat's cool. Don't forget, you gotta wear his hat. It's gotta be tilted down like that, right? Very cool. And yeah, the elastics, by the way, I am positive for the hair. So if one of these elastics breaks, you have some extras. Beautiful. And then the finishing detail, of course, we gotta put on the plate, which is also held on magnetically. And there you go. So, last but not least, let's get the jukebox out, crack open the jukebox, put everything together, and check out the Michael Jackson Smooth Criminal Deluxe statue all together. And I'm gonna, we're gonna plug in the jukebox, I'm gonna show you what that thing does too, because it is very, very cool, all right? So, let's get the other box out. All right, guys, box number two. Uh, now, I can already tell you that the, uh, the jukebox comes in a separate uh, colored carton, okay? So the outside retail box is actually a different color. That's how you know which box is which. And I, if I remember correctly, it's blue. So the colors are basically inverted. Um, so it'll be blue with white logos, and the other one is white with blue logos. Let's get this out of here. Okay, so it's blue, sorry, it's blue with silver logos. There you go. Wow, this, I think the box actually has that metallic mirrored finish to it. I don't know, it's kind of, it's cool. It's got like a pearl finish to it. It's changing colors depending on what angle I look at it. Leave it to me to freak out about how beautiful a box is. All right, get this off of here. There it is. There's this box, wow. That box is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it on film, but Depending on how the light hits it, it's very reflective and again has that nice texture to it. Almost like a canvas texture. And you've got the beautiful silver logos on here. This is packaging you're definitely going to want to keep and not throw away. Because it's really, really nice. So again, same thing with the black foam. Comes off. Okay, you can see already it's just, it's completely, completely protected. You barely see anything. So the thing on the top that you're gonna see here is the uh, AC adapter. There you go, AC adapter. Okay, I'm so excited because this jukebox is so good. And the box weighs a ton, so I'm assuming the jukebox is crazy heavy. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. 
Here you go, guys. Wait, let me let me spin this around for you. Check. There you go. All nestled in there. Look at that. Hopefully you can see it. All right, let's get them out. So I'll take the base out first. Base is the same thing. It'll be numbered. So this is number 15. Everything matches. Um, again, with the gold logo. So that's the extension base. That extension base is meant to go like so. And the jukebox can just stand on it. All right, let's get the jukebox out of here. Oh, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it does, it weighs a ton. It's like a 20 pound jukebox. There we go. So now this is an exact replica of the jukebox seen in Smooth Criminal. Right down to the interior, the whole configure. Oh, this is so, look at the little numbers on here. You got 25 cents, 10 cents, five cents. Oh, the detail on this is crazy. Wow, beautiful. You've got the stack of records in here with the record player. Very cool. Um, okay, sorry, I'm like geeking out a little bit. Um, and on the back, you actually have a magnetic cover. So that just pops off and you can take this off and magnetically, boom, that just connects like that. And I mean, that ain't come up there, you gotta pop it off. So you can see inside you have a lot of room. So what you could do is you could actually put a Bluetooth speaker in here and play music through it. Before I put it together, why don't we grab the measurements of the, uh, how big of an object you can put in here. Okay, so it is three inches deep, a little bit less than three inches. It's, it's actually three inches and one eighth, but the door takes up part of that, right? Because the door itself is about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, it's about a quarter of an inch. So three inches minus, I'd say three inches minus an eighth of an inch. And uh, let's see, height wise, it is about nine and a half inches. And width wise, so you can actually see it's got kind of like these parts that stick inwards a little bit. So that actually makes the width a little bit smaller. So let's just measure it, including that. It is about seven and three quarter inches wide, okay? So that's the size of how big an object you can put in there. All right, and then we go ahead and close it. And just remember, holes on the bottom, um, these little screw hole inserts, like the little replica of the connectors on the outside. Boom. All right, let's plug it in. I want to show this off. Now there will be several adapters uh, made, but it doesn't guarantee that you will not need a converter of some kind to make this fit or an adapter. So the AC adapters, there will be a North American version, a European version, UK version, and one that fits Australia and New Zealand. So if you're outside of those uh, areas um, and you don't have the right one, like I said, you might have to get yourself like a travel adapter and, and use that. So let's go ahead and plug them in right here. Plug it in. And there you go. And as you can see, it's sound activated. How cool is that? So you can play your music and it's gonna go up and down with the beat and everything. Now, I would love to put on Smooth Criminal and show it off, but you're gonna to have to just go with this. <laughs> All right, everyone around me just laughed and said never to beatbox ever again. We got the lights inside, so inside the trays uh, that load up the records is all lit up the coin slot, the area where normally you'd select all your music, you know, looking at the titles and everything. Really, really nice. Beautiful jukebox. That looks amazing. And you got like the whole wood green finish. I mean, it's not, it's, it's resin. It's clearly resin um, because it weighs like, <laughs> I'm not kidding, this thing weighs like 20 pounds. Um, and you also have like the embroidery inside. So in here, they also replicated the actual embroidered texture. So when you feel this, it's like an embroidered patch on the inside. <laughs> I mean, every little detail on here is, has been, you know, focused on and refined in this one third scale. It's just really, really impressive. Okay, let's put it all together. Okay, guys, you know, we can't have this statue completed without throwing some cash on the dance floor. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I think it's, I'm gonna make it rain. Oh geez, okay, we got, we got 20s, got a bunch of 20s. Oh, let's see, yeah, okay. I thought there was a 50, there's no 50s. Okay, it's all 20s. There we go, boom. Wait, we gotta spread the stack around. There we go. 
And we've got the record right here. There you go. That's what's in the jukebox playing right now. And let's take out the COA. If you don't like fingerprints, you're not gonna like this COA. You're gonna wanna open this with gloves, because look at that. There you go. Check that out. Voila. All right guys, so let's take some measurements here because this thing's a beast. You're probably gonna wanna know how big the case needs to be for this thing. So let's take us a look-see. Now, I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra space because of the AC uh, cord that's plugged in. So you're gonna want about, you're gonna want 18 inches of depth to get this to fit in a case. Um, and then, he's kind of sticking out a little bit there. You're gonna wanna do 16 inches of width, and his overall height would be the hat. And he is about two feet tall. Yeah, 24 inches tall. So 24 by, what did we say, 18? Yeah, by 18 by 16. And he will fit. So let's talk about availability. Uh, Michael will be ready and start shipping at the end of Q1. So this is actually one of the very first production pieces that we received. So as soon as there was a production piece ready, it was packed up and shipped over here. So these will be finalized and shipped out uh, to all of our warehouses in approximately March. So in March, it'll be shipped out. And then I figure probably you know mid-April, they will start shipping out to you guys. So keep an eye out. And as usual guys, you know, keep an eye on our social media and we'll post updates of when they arrive, when they're shipping and all that good stuff, all right? So that is it guys. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing and I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, bell notifications, and all that good stuff, all right? We'll see you guys on the next unboxing. Take it easy.